What is up YouTube, it's Egar Goma for Life here, part of True Grinders, bringing you the 30 Stamina White Bear Pirates Storm. Uh, the condition for the island is that you can only use Psy units, but it's okay because there are actually a lot of free-to-play good Psy units. You can use a double Garp team if you have any rare recruits. You can use you can use a regular rare recruit Shanks. Um, you can use Golden Pound, Usopp, and Anel if you don't have Impact Dial, Usopp, or Monet. Those work fine. Kobe is free to play, and Kobe is good because he gives you a two times orb boost. Um, there probably are some better captains than you see the one I'm using, which is Shanks, because your attack buff depends on your HP. Um, there's tons of stalling that can go on from these stages between stages one through uh, five. Once you reach room six, your stalling kind of kind of gets a little bit uh, reduced. I didn't mean to kill that, but it's okay. We can kill it and move on. Mm -hmm. But stalling here, it's really easy. Ooh, wasn't supposed to do that. It's perfectly fine, though. Mm -mm. We're just messing up all of our stalling, but we're gonna be pretty good because the only specials we honestly do need is Monet, Kobe, and Usopp. We don't even really need Kobe. Kobe really isn't that needed. Another free-to-play unit you should think of bringing is Vivi because you'll get your orbs shuffled um one turn. You don't want that. So here. You're going to look for any recovery orbs, because we're going to take a lock here. The recommended power that makes this super easy, anti-lock. If you have level 2 anti-lock, you would be good to go. We could take a lock here. Take some attacks. See, this is a team with only level 1 anti-lock, and we're going to still manage to do what we need to. In order to move forward. Oh! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, so we took way more damage than we were supposed to. It's not the end of the world, though. Trust me. We just need to wait for our Garp. And then we should be good to go. So this is stage five. Okay. So we got one recovery orb. And enter the room with Garp. So, when you enter this room, uh, you want to stalk your room. Because if you can't kill him in one turn, you can definitely kill him in two turns. Um, and uh, you can use Kobe here. Using Kobe, you get a two times orb boost. I mean, you know, you get a 1. You know, 1. 1.5 or 1.75 orb boost, but it lasts for two turns. So if you can kill Kiryu in your first turn, then you won't suffer from Faza's orb boost. But we want Faza to hit us with that orb boost. We want to try to outlast this fighter attack down. It's really going to be the main goal. You want to take two turns in that room. That way, you could um, your specials should be charged definitely by then. And that, see that little symbol? It goes away by the time you enter this room. Which means once you come into this room. You want to try and kill Faza in the, on the first turn. But if you can't, he's going to buy your specials. Right? And this is what you do to outlast it. 
You basically just wait one turn. And then you guys are good to go. See? You wait one calm turn. And then you can just kill him. So he really doesn't do anything. You just don't want to kill him if your specials aren't at two turns. Because when you come to this room, this he doesn't do anything but this. And it doesn't count as a... It doesn't count as a turn to get your specials freed. And this is why you want to bring Vivi. Because she can shuffle, re, re randomize your orbs. Strong where Shink's ability is. You come out, out with a lot of Psy orbs. You're good. And he doesn't have that much HP. Like, look, look, I'm going to use two Strong Wish Shank specials. And, boom, that's 100,000. See? That's how much 200,000 is to him. That's about a quarter of his HP. See? And then, with one Usopp, you can just literally just kill him. Garp is a better unit to bring if you're not using Strong War Shanks. If you're using um, the regular Shanks, the, the first Shanks they give you in the game for the tutorial to play with. Um, if you're using him, you get a solid 2.5 attack boost, which is a little bit better. You only get uh, 0.75 off and you don't get as good orbs, which is why Garp is better because Garp gives you Psy and Recovery Orbs. So if you're using Bonclay and Garp with the, that Shanks as captain, you can get full orbs. And guys, that is the white beard thing. The fun part about this one is it's pretty easy. Thatch is a secret character. And you want those books. You can get books for your nails, which is good. But you also want books for your in talk. I'm going to be farming for sockets for my uh, Rukuyo here. Because he's a driven type. Using this Rukuyo on the Fuji team guarantees your Fuji a matching orb and your... Rukuyo are matching Gorb. I just got to see his stats. If his attack is high enough, I'll use him. It doesn't look like he'll be high, it'll be high enough since he's not a, a he's a non-evolving character. Um, and then you have Faza there. So if, if you want to farm specials for those, go ahead. I know I will because they're driven characters. And I need all the driven characters I can get with good sockets. But guys, that is the Fortnite. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's other teams you can definitely use to beat this. As you've seen, it's not that hard. All of the commanders have... Practically less than a, a million HP. So I'll see you guys in the next video.